What more way to start the day of 2024 rather than being here on the grounds of ISRO where PSLV C58, the workhorse of ISRO, is launching with an ExpoSat. This is a satellite after ISRO going ahead and like launching satellites for researching about the moon and about the sun. Now we are also going ahead and going to research about cosmic sources. These are the sources that are absolutely massive and there you could see that is PSLV C58 and that is a roar as a rocket has been launched. It's an absolutely magnificent sight for year 2024, the first day, the new year. And that's a sat rocket that's taking the satellite that is like the payload alone is 469 kilograms. It's got two sensors on it, uh, one being the Pollux and the other being the Expect. And these are going to actually research and collect data about the emission of x-rays x-rays uh, uh, which will be like uh, released from uh, black holes from neutron stars and also uh, from uh, supernova these are like cosmic sources of high energy and high uh, like emitting uh, like a lot of radiation this will be detected by exposat and also that will be, uh, like go ahead and pave the way for research not just for india but for the entire world and this is a very important aspect how isro is paving the way and leading the way for other countries and like decided to go ahead and do this research as well another important aspect is that the fourth stage that normally uh, falls back to the like uh, earth uh, like or gets burnt in the atmosphere that is also being collectively used as a kind of an observatory medium that is why it's called a poem poem where nearly 10 like sensors and various materials will be placed and that will also be used for research purposes this expo sat's life term is expected to be five years and there on the uh, space it will go ahead and research imagine after chandrayaan successful chandrayaan 3 and aditya l1 which is on the way to reach a lagrange point to research about the sun now isro India has gone ahead and ha is going to have its own satellite to research about a black hole which is when an, a, a, an entire star actually collapses or a neutron star that is the core that will be left behind after an explosion of a star a pulsar which is a neutron star that is spinning rapidly or a supernova that is an explosion of a star these are the cosmic sources P people want to get more knowledge about them and now isro is paving the way to collect information data about these cosmic sources yet another amazing achievement and an absolutely brilliant launch and after chandrayaan the moon the sun now we are going to explore about the black holes and supernovas thank you so much sir so uh, can you give us a small introduction about exposat and what it's going to do in this space exposat is a satellite to look at uh, black holes binary star binary systems which exist in black holes and black holes uh, generally don't emit any radiation as you know but it will start emitting radiation once it accrete into materials from other stars. So if there is a mass being drawn, it will end up with X-ray emissions. These X-ray emissions, if you do polarimetry as well as by the spectral analysis, you can quantify the material being drawn. This is one of the study. And also it can study the various energy levels across, uh, so in X-rays. So there are two payloads, one looking at the lower band of energy, which is built by the URC science team, and the higher band of energy, which is being uh, observed by the payload which is built by the Raman Research Institute. So it actually looks at two energy bands of, is a little bit of overlap. So it looks at the large spectrum of energy emissions in X-rays to understand the structure of the uh, neutron stars, uh, the binary systems, etc. So it's a little more deeper. We know almost 500 of them are available in universe through other observations. So this goes much more deeper into the understanding of it. Can I ask what is the importance of black hole and why we should study about them? See, black holes are the essence of creation of what is happening. For example, you know, the whole of the Milky Way galaxy is, is said to have a deep, a big black hole which is growing in size over a period of time, eating into the material around it. So it creates a set of you know, formation of the universe. Even today, we do not know much more deeper into the, the theory of black holes. Of course, uh, it started with black holes are that it eats into everything. Then we re later realized that it also emits radiations and die out over a period of time and vanish. So there are a lot of such theories. So it is more of understanding the universe. 
otherwise uh, if a black hole is there or not there if you don't know anything uh, also we will be happily living on earth but that is not the way to look at science no science is to find out what exactly happens in the universe though it doesn't affect us also everything that affects us we study anyway like the climate weather the the food production agriculture etc but science is not for that science is to understand and you know appraise uh, ourselves about what we are living in fourth stage the poem and the fuel cells in particular because we kind of feel that that's going to play a very important role in the future missions small explanations see poem is a very low cost platform see we could do 10 of such experiments 10 people 10 institutions and systems could get, or go on board with a very low cost if you are typically build a satellite it will cost you crores but this is in penny we are sometimes free so this gives an opportunity for many scientists to put an experiment without much uh, worrying about the hassles of powering it, communicating it, etc. All these are provided by the Maybe poem back. It is sort of a, okay, some people are call it a space station, but I won't call it space station. It's a platform. We call it a platform by which you can host experiments and with a short-lived uh, time because it has some power and generation capability. It is not built like a satellite exactly to have a very long life. It's a short life system with a low cost uh, platform with a small control domain capable of handling for a certain period. For infinite period, if you want to build it, you need a much more costly systems. So the, the fundamental is low cost. Uh, the second fundamental is uh, make use of the upper stage, which has been a waste. So this is also the right thing. Third part is minimize the effort of others so that they can host a payload and do maximum out of it. So we provide all the backbone, what is needed, power, control, attitude, orientation, etc. But you need to do only the core part of the experiments. Divyan, Pramod Madhav, for today.